This video is on red lipsticks. I know a lot of people are gonna be shopping and hunting for that perfect holiday red lipstick, and it can be very intimidating to find the right red. I spent the majority of my life being intimidated by red lipstick and thinking that I couldn't wear one because every one that I tried just didn't look quite right. It wasn't until I was, I think 37 or 38, when I finally found a red that worked for me. And since then, I've found several others, varying undertones, varying formulations. And I wanna share some of those with you today that have become my favorites. So maybe if you haven't found the right red lipstick for you, this video will help you find the right red lipstick for the holiday season or any time of year. But first, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here with me on a regular basis. I do upload new videos every week and we can get started with the red lipsticks. First things first, I do like to line around the perimeter of my lips. If I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, it just serves as a guide so that I stay in the lines. And if I'm wearing a regular lipstick or a sheer lip product of some sort, I like to fill in a little bit with the red liner so that it just gives it a little more pigmentation and helps it adhere to the lips for a longer period of time. The liner that I've been using is Urban Decay's Bad Blood. It's the 24 seven formulation. I just find it to be a really nice formula. When I swatch it on the hand, it looks like a pretty true red with maybe some slightly cool undertones, but it doesn't affect the color whatsoever when I put a lip product over it. And I do find that it helps my lip products last a little bit longer when I wear this color. So this is just a good formula. It's a good lip liner, and I do recommend wearing a red lip liner underneath your red lip product. It can greatly help the longevity, the wear, and can help you stay in the lines. With today's lips, I did not put a lip liner underneath them because I wanted you to see the true colors on my lips with the exception of the first one, and that's the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip Color in VIP. I feel like this one goes on a little bit sheer without a liner, but I do like the way it looks with a liner. It's a long wearing lip formula that doesn't dry my lips out atrociously. That's the struggle with red lipsticks for me, and I think for a lot of people that don't like drying lipsticks, is getting a red lipstick that lasts on the lips feels good and moisturizing, but that doesn't dry the lips out. Because most of the time when I'm wearing a red lipstick, I want it to last a long time. I want it to look good. I don't want it to rub off on my teeth or wear away ungracefully as the evening or the day goes on. And it just needs to look good, but I don't want my lips to be parched and dry. I do have a liquid lipstick in here that is on the drier side because I know some of you really want that more bulletproof formula. So I do have that in here because it is a great color. So this one is a really great classic red color and it can go on a little sheer if you put it on without a liner, but it looks really great with a liner and it wears well. This next one is Revlon's Ravish Me Red. It's number 654. This one is more of an orange based red. It's very warm, but I don't feel that it's unwearable. I'm one that because I have yellow undertones, I eliminated looking for cooler toned or neutral toned reds and I was always shopping for warm based reds and I never found the right red. It wasn't until I opened up my horizons that I actually found the right red. So you really just never know, but this is one that I think really works well for me, even though it's warmer tone than what I usually go for. But I really, really like this color. The formula is really nice. It's not the longest wearing, but it lasts a decent amount of time and it's really moisturizing on the lips. I've spoken about the next one in several videos and the formula in general. It's the MAC Lip Tensity Formula. The shade that I have is Life's Blood. This is the perfect formula if traditional liquid lipsticks are too drying for you, but you still want something that is long wearing, but you want something that's moisturizing. This wears a really long time. 
it wears away gracefully, but never fully so that you're left with that weird hot pink lip look, if you know what I mean. It's just not attractive. This wears away so nicely and actually, I really don't think it ever fully wears away. I don't have to reapply these that often and they just are so moisturizing and creamy and very opaque. I had this in two neutral shades. I loved them so much. I immediately went out and got a red because I thought this would be the perfect formula to have a red in that I could survive in all night long and barely have to reapply. This next shade isn't a traditional red, but it has enough red in it that it could be considered a form of red. And the shade is called Wonderland. This is an Urban Decay Vice cream formula. And I just think the shade is stunning. This is a shade that I didn't know I had been looking for for so long, but when I found it, I had to get it. I got this last year, I believe. It's creamy, moisturizing. It lasts a long time, probably not as long as the lip tensity. It's a winter berry color without being so cool toned that I can't wear it. And it's a great shade to wear when you want a form of red without just screaming red. It's so pretty. If you want a traditional liquid lipstick that's going to be bulletproof on the lips, if you don't mind a little bit of dryness and want a classic red, this is the lipstick for you. This is Too Faced Melted Matte in Lady Balls. The name cracks me up, but it is a beautiful red. It's a little bit too drying for me, but when I found this, I really tried to dupe this color as best as I could to find another red like it because I just love the color. It's that traditional Hollywood Vixen type red. It's stunning. So I just tried to measure all my other reds, classic reds by this. It's beautiful. So if you don't mind traditional liquid lipsticks, and it's not the most drying liquid lipstick I've ever put on my lips. So if you don't mind that, this will be a great one for you to have. This is the oddball of the group. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips Color Balm Crayon in Refreshing Red. This is not gonna be your out all night color, your party red. This is a daytime red, a moisturizing, I wanna throw on a red and run errands or go to school or go to work and just have just a daytime color, which you could do that with any of these, but this is just one that I would reserve specifically for that. It says on their website, it's 12 hour hydration, but it doesn't last 12 hours on the lips. So I'm not quite sure about that claim, but this is just a daytime glossy lip balm type product that does put off a lot of pigment, especially if you wear a lip liner underneath it, even a nude lip liner helps bring out that pigment more. And it's really nice. It is hydrating, it's slippy, it's glossy, and it's just a nice product if you want a quick, easy, glossy red without using a gloss that can be messier and not last even as long as this. I did have to move the swatch down to my wrist. I was going towards my fingers with the other swatches, but I wanted to reserve the other end for the last two because they go really well with the Too Faced product that I put on the end. So that swatch is towards my wrist, but um, yeah, I mean, you can see how much pigment is there with this swatch. And it's just a really nice everyday throw on gloss type product without being a gloss. We're nearing the end with NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is a gorgeous red. It does lean cooler toned, but it's neutral enough that it's a great universal red. I kept reading a lot of celebrities that used and loved this, so I finally picked it up for myself. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but I'm so glad. It's so easy to apply because it's a pencil. It does sharpen. It's not sharpen right now because I've been using it, but I find that, you know, you can line with it because it's a pencil and fill in. It lasts a long time. It's just a really great universal red. I think anyone would wear this and it would really flatter so many skin tones. The last product I'm going to mention is the one that I have on my lips right now. It's Smashbox Boss 
B-A-W-S-E is how you spell this. It is just a beautiful classic red. This is very, very close in color to the Too Faced Lady Balls, but I like the formula a lot better. It's less drying. It still lasts a long time on the lips. I would say this is probably my most worn red and I don't wear a ton of liquid lipsticks. I love the formula of this. It's not very drying. It lasts a long time on the lips. It doesn't give me that shriveled up look. I'm looking in the mirror. So if I'm going to choose a product that's going to last a long time and feel comfortable, this is a great choice. It's also a great classic red color. I do love the applicator. It's got that pie-shaped angled doe foot applicator that makes it wonderful for a precise application. You can get it right in the corners of your lips. You can get a precise line around the lips, whether you're wearing a lip liner or not wearing a lip liner, the color is opaque. It applies thinly and evenly on the lips. This is really just a perfect formula of liquid lipstick, in my opinion. I love it. I think the formula would work perfectly on a variety of skin tones. I hope you enjoyed seeing my selections for holiday red lipsticks or red lipsticks for any time of year, but hopefully it gave you some ideas for different shades of red lipsticks with different undertones and different formulations. I would love to hear your favorite red lipsticks and what you like to wear during the holiday season. So leave those in the comments below and maybe that'll give some suggestions for others and for myself. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll put my social media links on the screen and down below so that you can follow me over there as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.